Hello everybody, it's Patrick and Sarah from the Board Meeples. Today we're going to do a playthrough of Wingspan. Um, if you are interested in how to play, we do have a video on our channel, which we will link in the description below. So um, enjoy and please uh, subscribe and stay tuned in the future for other videos as well. All right. Um, so we already have the board set up more or less, so I'm going to just shuffle the... Um, you haven't really set up or dealt out anything yet? Yeah, I'm going to just shuffle the round tokens. Round one will be birds in the forest. Number two will be eggs in the specific nest type. Three will be another eggs in the a different nest type. And the fourth one will be birds in the water. Oops. Okay, so those are four. And then uh, do up those okay. bonus cards. Do bonus cards. So you get two bonus cards each. Oops. And, and we, we should figure out who goes first. Uh, yeah, we'll do that after this. Well, no, but it might influence your decision if you... Uh, probably not. All right. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to pick this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get rid of these birds. And four. And birds in forest. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Get rid of these. Okay. And get rid of these. All right. Now, give me a moment to go through mine since I've been busy discarding your cards. So I only need to get rid of one food. We'll get rid of mm. a mouse. I'll keep these three. So I'll get that. And then I'll get rid of, hold on, please, wait one moment. I know you're excited, but you can wait. Uh, I need to get rid of three. three. This is my wingspan. Okay, that's So you get 132, I have 53, so you gotta go first. You should really shuffle this back in the deck. Shuffle what? Oh, just the two that we pulled. There's so many. There, there's true. probably a duplicate in there. I'll play a bird. I don't think there's any duplicates, but... Play a bird! Clark's grab. <laughs> Greep? Grab? Clark's grab, eh? Clark's grab. Greedy. Alright. Clark was a 19th century surveyor who collected specimens for the Smithsonian. Wow. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> I would imagine they're not lying on the cards. Alright, it's just weird. They probably discovered that bird. Um, okay, so for me, I'm going to, it's birds and trees, eh? Um, alright, I'm going to play a bird. Oops. I'm going to pay the two, and I'm going to pay the pygmy nut hatch. Hmm. Alright, go ahead. Alright, uh, lay some eggs. Alright, I'm going to get us some, get me some food, since we have not rolled the dice yet. Mm -hmm. um, I one of everything. Got, yeah, that's good, actually. So I got one food, which will be, mm -hmm. I don't know, let's go with, I don't think it really matters for me in this case. So get that. Then when activated, I can tuck a card from my hand behind this one, and if I do gain a food supply, I don't want to tuck it. Go ahead. Okay. Drawing cards. I'll discard an egg to draw two. Okay. Um, I don't want any of those. So we'll just randomize it. I don't want any of those either. When I've activated, draw a card. And if you do, discard one from your hand at the end of the turn. So we'll discard. Mm. We'll discard this one, please. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna get some eggs going here. I'm put two eggs in here, and then uh, <clears throat> you may uh, go. Okay, I'm gonna play another bird. Um, this time it'll be a forest bird. So I'm gonna play two of any, and then I don't have a mouse. <laughs> it was the only food I discarded in the beginning, and I needed right, it. Of course. So I'll discard two instead. And I played a common raven. All right, my turn. 
Yeah, so I read online there was this couple that wanted to attract ravens to their house. All right. And so they were getting uh, tips on how to attract ravens and crows to their house so that it looked like ominous for their neighbors. Yeah. And they ended up getting like a bunch of gifts for the ravens and the crows that kept coming to them, like they got money and stuff. Yeah, they're uh, they're They bring you gifts. <laughs> yeah, so they like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. Too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to play a bird. And I'm going to pay the one food cost. So when I play the ruby crowned kinglet, when played, play second bird in your uh, forest. It pays normal cost. That's right, I paid the egg for that one. I paid mm -hmm. the second egg. And this guy doesn't cost any food. Oh, that's so good. And so that is my round. Oh, boy. You're doing well. And once uh, per between round, if you do the um, predator action and succeed, I can get a a, a random one. I get to pick one from the bird Okay, feeder. I don't have any predators. I'm just letting you know. Gaining food. I'll gain this one, and then I'll discard a card. Oh, sorry. To gain this one. There's not the ball there. And now I may discard an egg from any of my other birds to gain two food from the supply, so I'll gain two of these from the supply. Okay. Go. Well, I'm out of cards, um, so that basically means I will for a card. Um, let me think here. Um, I'm just going to take one randomly from the deck. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to draw from the deck randomly. That's pretty good. And then I'll activate him, draw one if I do discard one from my hand at the end of the turn. Okay, and I know which one I want to discard. I'm going to discard this for draw. Go! Well, I'm going to go for food, um, so I'm going to grab, uh, okay, well, whatever, I'll grab fish, and then, because <clears throat> I get the two food, and there's only one diet left, and I don't want it, I'm going to roll all of them, Okay. which sort of sucks, because I don't really well, that one I will. You need fish, or what? Could confirm or deny what I need, um, and then once between turns, when played, I don't want to talk a card. Go. Okay, I'm gonna play an American crow. Ah, the raven and the crow going on. And I'll pay a food for that. Go. Hmm. Well, that's a good point. What's a good uh, point? I will go with food again. Pick this thing. I get one more, which in this case I'll just pick. They diversify my economy. All right. And then go. Mm -hmm. All right. Last one. I'm gonna put eggs. And sure, I'll do an extra. It doesn't make sense to do that. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, my turn. <clears throat> so the last cube. I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to use... Um, I need those, and then I'm going to use two. Mm -hmm. Anything to convert into one, that's per that. Yeah. I'm going to play the ash-throated flycatcher. When okay. played, lay an egg on each of your birds with that type of nest. Cool. Wow, that's really well. It works really well for you. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of round one. That's it. Uh, so I got second place. And I got first place. And I got one bird. This is for you. Oh, that's first player. Okay. You discard this, please. Mm -hmm. And take the turn. All right. <clears throat> well, um, I'm running into the problem that I don't have any but there's an opportunity here. Actually, I'll just do the... This one is eggs and those things. Okay. I'm going to grab a card. Mm hmm. They're not very good. Well, grab this guy. Go ahead. Okay. We need eggs in certain nests. Oh, there is one there. Draw cards. <coughs> and we need 
eggs, oh yeah, eggs in their stuff. Draw one, discard at the end of the turn. Um, yeah, we'll discard this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Echo. Okay, um, for my turn, I'm going to gather food. Let's grab one of these guys. Rat people, and then I'm going to roll. And from there, I'm going to take a worm. And I don't want to talk a card because I only have one card. Yep. Okay. I'm going to draw bird cards again. <laughs> okay. Real bad. Stop the drop. Discard an egg. One thing I like about this game is all the beautiful artwork on the cards, and it does provide a lot of information about them, which I think is kind of a good learning opportunity. Not that I've ever really been a bird watcher, but I'm sure my mother would love to read about all these birds. Um, but yeah, I really like just the feel of the game. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it's neat. I like when game designers do stuff like that. They add little. Yeah, they put the extra effort. Yeah, Go the extra mile. Little neat stuff on each of the cards. All right, I'm gonna play a bird. Play that, and I'm going to play the Eastern Kingbird. Once between turns, when another player plays a tree bird mm -hmm. uh, or a forest bird, I gain one uh, worm from the supply. Okay. I'll play a bird. So I have to pay an egg, and I'm going to pay one of each of these to place it in. In this case, I'm going to play the eggs, and then I'm going to I'm going to pay the extra to get three eggs. Uh, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and if you hear a dog kind of making a little quiet whining or snoring sound, Connor is underneath the table as per usual when we play these games. Um, so. He's sort of one of our unofficial mascots, I guess. The others are a cat, but she never comes down. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's probably for the better. Anyway, she screams a lot. Tuck this card and lay an egg on this bird. So I guess, in fact, I should read my cards before I lay eggs. Yeah. That's okay. Still and up your turn. Discard egg from any of your other birds to gain one from the supply. So I'll do that. Gain this. Uh, sorry, mouse. Right, Go ahead. Okay. Um, in this case, I actually need cards, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard an egg. So I can get two cards. Um, I'm going to go with this guy. And one of those. Replenish the cards available. Once between turns, win another bird. You didn't do that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, playing another one. Play another bird. Okay. Yep, play a bird. Go. Um. I think in this case here, I'm going to gather food. Two food. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I will get a worm. One. Okay. 
and that's my turn. Um, Alright, so I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here, discard a food to get three eggs. Tucking can be very powerful. In one game we played, she essentially had a card that she would then be able to tuck and then draw and then tuck and then draw, and so she created a nice chain, so she's always getting these things. It was pretty crazy. Done. Done the round? Yeah, I got second place again. Okay. Yeah, first, let's have the most eggs on the... Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Stop hey, I'm just explaining it to the camera and our friends and followers, so it just happens to be also gloating a little bit, but um, I'm sure you'll win with some sort of tucking or something. First player, please. Mm -hmm. So our next one is bird or eggs in the the other type of nest. Yeah. I really actually learned the name of these nests. Well, that's a bowl. Yeah. That's a burrow. Yes. I don't think it's uh, actually officially a bowl is the name of it. That is what it's called. It's a bowl nest. Yes. This All is right. this is a. This is a star nest. A star nest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the birds create star nests. <laughs> All right. All go. right. So I need to discard to play a bird, pay my food, play a snowy egret. It's a predator bird. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play a bird, and I'm gonna play the eastern phoebe. Um, The water pile. The water the wetlands. habitat. The wetlands. wetlands. Drawing two cards. Star lands. The star nests. Drawing two cards. These both suck. Need fish. fish. No fish. And draw one. And no, I didn't cheat there. I just forgot to pay and the egg. Discard this one. Yeah, let's discard. Discard this one, please. Mm -hmm. And your turn. Well, in this case here, I'm actually going to get myself some cards because I don't have any. Mm -hmm. um, that guy for fun. Um, when activated, all players get a worm from the supply. Okay. There you go. Grab food. Actually, I want the fish. Shocker. And then I get to roll the rest. As I need one more from the supply. Or the dice feeder, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to go with the wheat. And I am not going to duck. Okay, I'm going to play a bird. So Play this broadwing hawk. Go. Hmm, interesting name. I'm going to play a bird. Which costs me one egg. Get rid of that egg. Um, it cost me a fish, a wheat, and a worm. And that gives me the rosate, rosette, rosate spoonbill. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Uh, when played, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. Okay. Please stand by. Uh, this one, I think. Okay. Hey. Uh, yeah, let's put it okay. I only have four eggs by getting rid of the food. Okay. 
What? Talking to myself. I was just reading the thing. I said eggs in those things. Okay, I only need to roll one dice. It's a mouse. What are the chances? See? Oh, is that a predator thing? Right, yeah. So, uh, if I, when right. another player succeeds, I get to pick one from the bird feeder. That sounds good. I'm going to pick a... You can go. Okay, I'm going to eggs. Going to eggs. I'm going to eggs. I'm going to lay some eggs. Let's see here. Three. One more anyway. So I have one, two. Go. All right. You won again, so I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 sorry, whoa, I was first player. Whoa. Sorry about that. It's okay. Play a bird. Alright. <laughs> I forgot there's one there, too. Uh, take out these guys. I'm going to put in a water bird. Okay. Uh, the Lincoln Sparrow. Cool. Now my turn is done. And so I got first place. Yeah, you did. Okay. I have two, four eggs, and I assume you have more than that. Uh, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I get to go first. Mm -hmm. um, well, I need cards. I mean, I don't have anything. So I'm going to do the three. What are my objectives again? Yellow rumped warbler. warbler. Cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool for me. It's a nice looking bird. And that's it. Go. Okay, I'm going to also play a bird. A red tailed hawk. Or an egg. And two mice. Go. Okay, in this case here, I'm going to go for food. Mm -hmm. Don't want that. I'm going to roll all the dice. Oops. In the dice bird house. Which unfortunately didn't get anything I wanted, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just go with uh, the rat. And a uh, wheat and a rat. Oh, wait, actually, if I go with a rat again, then you can roll. I can re roll all the dice again for my third one. Yes. Fish. Well, I'm just going to get through. Uh, do I want to tuck? Uh, tuck. 
I don't want to touch. Okay. I'm going to play a bird. So, two eggs and these food for a canvas back. Go. Hmm. Okay. Gonna work. Wait, turns we have two actions yeah, left. Yeah, two actions, game is over. Mm, this is tough. Mm, I definitely want to play that one now. This game's so fun. There's so many different ways that you can win. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we like, also, oh, is the dice, dice tower. Roller. Yeah. This dice roller is like the coolest thing. I like when uh, games add stuff like that. Like yeah. Everdale has. Everdell has this big tree that you can build. Yeah, that's pretty cool for that. Um, I thought about maybe 3D printing something, but I don't need to because I already have. Oh this yes, nice thing. Uh, we do have a big 3D printed dice roller actually that Patrick made. Yeah. It took him 30 hours. Something, something like that. that. 20, 30 hours print. It's from Thingiverse. I didn't design it myself. Yeah. Um, so it's a it's a good site to get this stuff, and I'll tell you kind of a funny story in a second about it. But uh, let me just. Finish my turn. So because this takes 30 hours to print, you wouldn't want to redo it if it messes up, which is actually what happened. Right here, it stopped printing, and the tip was just floating above it, trying to print nothing. So Patrick had to take the file and edit out this part and just reprint the top and glue it on. Yeah. You can see it if you look really closely. Maybe. But, yeah. At That's first glance, can't really notice. Yeah, especially if you're so. not paying that much attention to it. Um, so I play a bird. I'm gonna do something a little weird because this guy is the one that can shuffle. But since we're almost done, I'm gonna yeah. play this guy. Okay. When played, so this is the brown pelican. It gives me three fish from the supply. Okay. So I'm gonna take three fish from the supply. Okay. Can the uh, oh sorry. Nope. Go ahead. Just, just I'm gonna lay four eggs. Uh, by discarding a food. And it doesn't ra really matter where I put them, I just want some extra points, because I'm clearly not going to win the end of the round. This, need a mouse. Nope. Right. And I don't have a card to tuck, and I'm not going to gain food. So. Nope. Okay, so for my last one, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do eggs, because that gives me points, yeah. rather than tucking. Oh, hold on, tuck. If you tuck a card, you gain a card, and then I tuck a card. So I get two points there, but I have extra food, so I can get three points from the eggs. So I'm going to go with the eggs. Yeah, it's better to do that. Burn a food, get three eggs. Eh, sure. One, um, two. I don't think it doesn't really matter where they go at the moment. Three. And don't do anything. So you get the last Kay. turn. Eggs. Eggs. Discard food. Four eggs. Nice. I need a mouse. Oh, close, but I didn't get it. Don't have a card to tuck. Done. All right. So, so I think I got second place again because I only have four birds. I have one, five. Two, three, four, five. So I got first place. Yeah. I thought about tying with you, but it would burn two turns to get a card to play. And yeah, the other I thought about moving this guy. Eggs made more sense. Because if I moved him here, I had another um, fish card. Yeah. Thankfully, I do have a good bonus card, which does give me two points per predator. So I've Two, four, six, eight for that. Yeah, see, I could have messed up on one of them. What'd you get for your bonus cards? Uh, bonus cards? So yeah. I have Photographer, which is birds in colors with names in their name. I got yellow, one, two, rubies in colors, so it's three, four. So I got three points. Three points? And I almost had the other one because it was birds that eat fish. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, oh. I did get It's two to three, so, and I have two here. So I, I think get, it counts uh, if it's a wild, too. Oh, you don't have any wilds. Okay, so you have two. Um, so I have two. Did you get it though? Yeah, because it, like it says four? two or three birds for three oh, points. So I got so six you got points. Six. Okay. And I then how many, how many eggs do you have? One, two, three, four, five. And how many foods on cards? Zero. Nothing. Okay, I have one. I have ten eggs. My bonus cards gave me eight. My birds are. So she's going to win. Nine, thirteen, oh, eighteen, birds. twenty-one, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 39. Hey, should I even birds. count? I mean, my birds is 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 11, 13, uh, 15, 21, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
28. Do you have any tucked cards? One. I have three. Do you have food? No. Mm -hmm. And then end of round goals, this is where you beat me for sure. So you got yeah, 15, 22. 22. And I got 6, 10. So in total, there's 56, 57. 57 plus 5 is 63. Yeah, no, 62. That's Patrick. And then 39, 40, 50, 60, 68, 71. I told you she was going to win. She always wins by 71 to 62. I'm I not really sure how I won, to be honest. Well, you did your so eggs. well it's on your the eggs. goals. Yeah, but the goals are kind of useful. Well, the goals are important, but I mean, yeah. if you think about it, yeah, I got seven, you had four, so I only gained three points. Yeah, that's true. I only and gained the first three points, one, I, I only, got, only three got, points, got three points, I only got yeah. three points. So, I mean. Yeah, you're right. Right, the so eggs, it helps. The eggs really make a difference. Like at the end. Yeah. Well, I, eggs and tuck cards. You know, at the end I was gaining four eggs each time. Yeah. And then if I had cards in my hand, I could have tucked and gained another, but I didn't yeah. have any cards. And these ones are hard, though. Birds that eat fish, right? Yeah. And thankfully it's that it's not only eats fish. Yeah. Because there are some that are only eats. Oh, uh, yeah, right? those are harder. Yeah. It's nice, actually, the bonus cards do tell you on the bottom, how, like, what percentage of the deck contains that goal. So yeah. if you're kind of starting out and you don't really know what's the best, you know, probability says that it might be better to go with the large bird specialist because 35% of the deck has birds with wingspans over 65 centimeters. Yeah, this had 18%. Yeah. I mean, I had the one that was over 65, but when I looked at my cards in my hand, I had zero. Right. Like, I'm sorry, I had one. Yeah. And so I was like, eh, the odds. It's still... But I did, I did beat this one, so I did get it. But if I had two more, I would have got eight points, right? So right. So that would have been huge. But yeah. anyway, so that's, uh, that's, that's wingspan. It's, yeah. uh, it's a fun game. I enjoy it. Um, I would like to try this game. So far, I don't play. We played with more than just two players, right? I think it would be interesting to maybe do uh, a video for you guys about the one-player version because they yeah. add an aspect which I actually haven't read the rules for, uh, where they add an automa. It's like an automatic player yeah. that you play with. So it would be interesting. So, yeah, I, think I don't know. Comment down below if you want to see that. And maybe we'll record it. Um, yeah. Anyway. Other than that. Thanks That's for it. joining us. Thank you very much, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.